Hello everybody, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are just going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. Um, I know those are very loved by some and hated by others, but I thought it would be fun to do. Uh, that way, since I'm a new channel, you can get to know me a little bit while I just put on some makeup. So the first and foremost important thing that you should know about me is that I am a cat lady. Um, I have two cats a boy and a girl. I'm just going to prime. Um, my boy cat I've had, or we've had, me and my wife, we have had for about three years now, I would say. Um, he is annoying. He's laying on the floor over here as I speak. Um, he's a bad boy, but I love him. He's an orange tabby. I'll insert a picture of him right here. Um, when we first got him, he was a sick cat. We got him at, um, a, not a pet store necessarily, but Petco. It's kind of like PetSmart. Um, I don't know if they have those everywhere, but basically it's like a pet supply store. You buy food there, toys, other things. We got him there. They have kitten adoptions or cat adoptions, they have older cats too. And we were looking for a cat specifically and we went there and we saw him. My girlfriend wanted the white cat that was in the same cage with him. But I've always wanted an orange tabby. So I was like, I want the orange tabby. And she was like, okay, we're getting the orange tabby. So we got him. Um, because I picked out the cat that I wanted, I let her name him. Um, his name is Simba, like from The Lion King. And I wasn't too keen on that idea at first, but I love her, so I let her name him Simba. And now he's the demon cat. But I love him. We love him. And yeah. My other cat, um, we got her, it's kind of a sad story, um, a woman we work with, she had a cat that lived outdoors, and this cat had kittens with like a sh another, like a stray, I'm out of focus, okay, this cat had kittens with a stray from like around the neighborhood, her neighborhood, or next door, or something like that. And she was trying to get rid of these kittens, trying to get them homes and whatnot. So we were like, okay, we want a second cat. Let's, let's take one of these kittens, right? And our roommate at the time, um, she was all for it. So we got a kitten. It was a girl. We named her Luna. She was a calico. And unfortunately, um, she was a very sick cat. Um, we took her to the vet within a few days. Well, I mean, we took her to the vet when we got her because we wanted to get her her shots and a checkup. So we took her to the vet, got her shots, checkup, all that, and everything seemed totally fine. Well, maybe the next day after we got her, um, I was laying in bed with her and my girlfriend was at school or something probably. And, uh, I, all of a sudden, she started shaking, like uncontrollably. She was having a seizure. Well, I had never witnessed anything like that with a cat. I, I have seen a person seize, but I've never seen a cat seize. And I freaked out. Um, I picked her up and I brought her to the floor because I didn't want her to fall off the bed. And I called my girlfriend at work, freaking out. I was like, oh my God, Luna's dying. Like that was my first thought is that she had to be dying. So I called my wife. I said, I don't know what to do. I keep going between girlfriend and wife. We're not actually married, but I call her my wife. Um, but she's really just my fiance slash girlfriend, but she's my world. Anyway, so I called her. I was like, Teresa, I don't know what to do, you know you know, Luna, I, I think she's having the seizures. What if she dies? Like she's dying. And I was freaking out. I was crying. And, you know, she, Luna had since stopped seizing, but she was 
whining, you know, making just these little meowing noises and I didn't know what to do. And I just, I don't know, I didn't think in the moment. We don't have um, any kind of emergency vet service in this area. There's nothing here that can be, like that can help your pet outside of regular vet hours. So it was like the weekend or something and I was like, what, are, what do we do? There's no way to help her. We took Luna to the vet numerous times. We got her, you know, x-ray and CAT scan and all these things. And they gave her medicine and we tried this and we tried that and nothing we tried was helping her. She kept having seizures and they were getting worse and worse and worse. And so we had to make the decision to, you know, euthanize her. It was very hard. I've never had to do anything like that in my entire life. Um, I went and did it by myself because I didn't want my girlfriend to have to be there because she's very sensitive, even though she doesn't like to admit it. So I did it while she was at work. She knew about it, of course. But, um, you know, after we lost Luna, she was so tiny, dude. She was so small. Um, you know, we, my girlfriend was very upset and she was crying a lot, which, you know, I was too, but she was more so. And I didn't know what to do for her. I said, I need to do something for her. I need to make her feel better. You know, what do I do? And, you know, we had talked about maybe getting another cat later. You know, we were like, if, if we ever get another cat, this is what we're going to, we're going to do. We're going to get a black cat. You know, because there's a stigma around black cats and black cats don't get adopted as much because people think they're bad luck and all this BS. So she was like, I want a black cat. And we were talking about all these funny, silly names that we would name the black cat if we got a black cat. So one of the names that we were jokingly saying was, um, you know, those candy bars that are like a high content of cacao. We were like, we're going to name it you know, like 80% cacao or something like that, you know, just, you know, we're trying to lighten the mood and everything after an upsetting, you know, situation. I would say a week after we lost Luna, you know, I decided that I was going to find a black cat nearby from an adoption center. And I was going to surprise my girlfriend with her or him. I was looking for a girl because my cat, the boy cat, we, we didn't want any like domination or territorial issues to happen. So we had specifically looked for a female cat before. That's why when we got Luna, you know, we got the female of the, the bunch. So I was looking, um, I live, we live near Nashville. It's about an hour away from us. So when I was looking for cats online, you know, I was looking in adoption centers for anything, you know, within such and such amount of miles of Nashville. Again, we already have a cat. We thought it would be easier to get a kitten. There's nothing wrong with adopting an adult cat. Actually, we've talked about doing that recently, but our apartment is way too small. So I'm looking for, you know, female black cats. Um, and I did find quite a few, um, maybe three or four. And I was looking at the pictures and I, you know, I know you can't really like gauge a cat's personality from a photo, but that's what I was attempting to do. Um, I was trying to like, you know, oh, does it look like a nice cat or whatever? I'm going to prime my eyes now. So I was looking for the female black cats and I found one um, about 45 minutes away and her name was Brandy and she was so freaking cute in the pictures like she like arched her back in the picture like she was like get away from me don't take my damn picture damn it you human so I was just like okay this is my cat right here I called the rescue center that she was at to make sure they still had her they did I was like I'm coming right now to get her so I lied to my girlfriend and I said oh no I had a doctor's appointment I, I forgot I had. I, I gotta go do this doctor's appointment today. She knows everything I'm doing in my life, so she would have known if I had a doctor's appointment. Um, I'm gonna use the Zodiac palette from uh, ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. Mine came with a shattered mirror, but I don't really care. I didn't wanna return it and wait for a second one because I was so excited for this palette. So I just left the sticker on so that it wouldn't um, bust everywhere. But anyway, 
I uh, tell my girlfriend I have this appointment, yada, yada. And I'm like, I'm going to get in. I'm, I got in the car by myself. I took the cat carrier that we had, and I, I drove my ass up there. <laughs> um, I got there, and I was like, I talked to the lady at the front desk. I said, I was like, I, I just called. You know, I talked to you about Brandy. You know, is she here? And, you know, I, I went in the back room with her to look at all the kittens. And, oh, my God, let me tell you how hard it is to go in there and see all these kittens and all these cats that need homes and to only take one of them home. So I told her, you know, I was pretty set on Brandy already, but I was like, I'm going to, you know, play with the other cats and make sure. So I was playing with all the cats, you know, petting all the cats while she was like doing my paperwork and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I want all these cats. But Brandy... I was pretty set on. She came from a litter of like five cats and they were all black except for one. He was like a little tuxedo cat. But like I said, I wanted a female. Brandy was cute. She had a cute little big forehead. Like her, she was like me. Her forehead was so big. She was just so cute and awkward. So I ended up getting her. I put her in the carrier and I drove home with her. She was very nervous and she pooped once in the cat carrier on the way home and she vomited. So I had to stop twice to clean out the cat carrier so that, you know, she wouldn't step in her own duty. Then I got home. My girlfriend was already home from class. So I bring the carrier in. You know, and I hold it up to her and I was like, meet 80% cacao. And I took her out and gave her to her. So she was like, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Don't cry. She was like, oh my God, you know, oh, you know, and we didn't end up keeping the name Brandy. We ended up naming her Nyx, N-Y-X, actually kind of like the makeup brand um, for Goddess of Night. Um, it's from a book series that I read. It's like a vampire series. It's called House of Night. If you've heard of it, comment below. Brownie points. Um, but yeah, we ended up naming her Nyx. And it was also kind of like a tribute to Luna, you know, because the moon comes out at night. I don't know. It's corny, but it made us happy to, to do that. So we did that. And so long story short, our other cat, she's a tiny black cat. She's fully grown now. We've had her for a year and a half, almost two years and she never got big like I feel like she may have been the runt of her litter because she's very small she looks like a kitten still compared to our other cat oh my god she's tiny now you know one of the most important things about me I'm a cat lady I love cats I wish I could save all the cats of the world but the shade I'm using in my crease is the Libra it's the lightest shade in the palette aside from one of the gold shades um it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, but I enjoy this as a crease shade. I've used it multiple times. Actually, I just used this in my crease yesterday for work. The second most important thing about me is I'm a feminist, I'm a lesbian, I'm an atheist. Um, that might be too heavy for a makeup video, but you know, I, I talk a lot and I'm going to talk about myself a lot on this channel. So you may want to know those things. So yeah, I have a girlfriend slash wife slash fiance person. Her name's Teresa. We've been together for four years and counting. Um, she's amazing and um, she's half Korean. She's beautiful and I love her more than anything in the world. The third most important thing about me, which I mentioned in my previous video, pal my palette bingo video, if you haven't watched it, um, I read a lot. This is something that I've done since I was little. I'm, I read a lot of books. I mostly read young adult books. Um, and I would say I read at least three to four books a week from cover to cover. And I have a book blog and I do have a book YouTube as well, which I'll link below if you're at all interested. But I, um, 
the reason I love books so much is because when I was in school, I was one of those kids that was bullied all the time. I didn't have a lot of friends, if any friends. I had like that one friend that was always there for me. And that's about it. And I love her still to this day. We've been friends for like, gosh, over 20 years at this point. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I feel old. But yeah, um, I didn't have a lot of friends in school. I, you know, didn't have a lot of things to do. So I started reading books all the time. <laughs> I have my sugar pill shadows with me. I'm going to take this crease shade down a notch with my white with a uh, taco just up here. I'm going to highlight with it a bit because this has gotten a little dark, but I'm just going to bring it down just a tad. If I sound like I'm lisping at all, it's because I bit my tongue yesterday and there's like this big bump on my tongue and it hurts so bad. So like whenever I talk, it gets on my, it touches my teeth and it's really painful. So I feel like I'm talking kind of strange so that I can avoid hitting my tongue against my teeth. So I apologize for that because I sound kind of weird. Do you guys own a color switch? Because I use this every day for all the things, like I... I don't clean my brushes as much as I should, just like anybody else, I think. A lot of people are very guilty of waiting forever to clean their brushes, and I'm right there with you because I hate cleaning brushes. I hate it. So I think I like where that is right now and I think um, I, I bought these glitters from Ulta um, just this past week. I think they're new because I've never seen them. They are like the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows but they're from Flower Beauty. Um, they're a little cheaper. They're like $10 each or something opposed, as opposed to, um, uh, gosh, the other ones are like $24. Um, but their glitter, let's see if this will focus on them. They're glittery but, and they're liquid. I got two shades. These don't have shade names. Oh, yeah, they do. Never mind. Um, so the dark yellow gold one is called Bomb. And then the more rose gold one is called Blade, I think. Let's see. Oh, yeah, definitely the rose gold. But I have never used this. I swatched it on my hand and that's it. Hopefully it's good. you can see that but it's glittery but it's not super super glittery um I don't know I, I kind of like it it's more of a subtle look um which I'm fine with I'm cool with it um I guess I approve now um I'll go ahead and maybe clean up the edges a little bit get an inner corner going <laughs> Alright, so 
I guess we're gonna go in with the lower lash line. Um, I'm basically just gonna take a combination of the things I used on the upper lid and mimic that on the bottom. You know, I'm really not that interesting, to be honest. Um, I'm, I was born and raised in Florida. Um, I'm a Florida girl at heart, but I live in Tennessee now. It's not my favorite place to live. There's a lot of close-minded people here. There's a lot, not to say that everyone is, but there's a lot of, you know, people here that don't like gay people, you know, to be completely honest, I'll just say it. There's some bigoted people here. So, you know, sometimes, you know, my girlfriend and I don't feel like we can be ourselves. So, you know, that sucks, but I moved here with an ex of mine who was in the military and there is a military base here. So that's why I ended up here. I've lived here for gosh, like 12 years or, or so at this point. So I'm not really interested in moving back to Florida because there's really nothing there for me. My family's there, but like I said, we're already used to being apart. My mom, dad, and my brother, my younger brother. And so I just, I just never left here. Plus I have a job here. You know, this, this has become my home now, you know, and I know my mom, she would love for me to move back down there, but that's just not something I want to do, you know? Um, my girlfriend and I, we have been to visit my family a couple times in Florida. Um, and <laughs> we used to go to the beach, right? And we loved going to the beach. We would go swimming and we would go, you know, jump the waves together and whatnot. And um, last year we went, right? And someone, I don't remember who, someone we work with probably mentioned sharks okay and i've always known that there's a possibility that there's sharks in the water to me it's a normal thing but if you're not from a place with the ocean you may not think that's a normal thing and let me just tell you the shark attacks you've heard about you hear about them for a reason you're hearing about them because it's not common but my girlfriend heard shark and she was done. She, okay, I, I'll give her credit. We did try to go in the water, okay? We did. We went to the beach. We went in the water. I just got that in my eye. And, you know, we, we tried, okay? We tried, she tried, but... She read or saw a video that said, if you see shark, or if you see fish, like if you see like fish shoot on by, then there may be sharks behind them, right? Well, lo and behold, we were in the water and all of a sudden a bunch of fish go like tiddling by. Well, she's like, shark, shark, we got to get out of the water. So we're both like, and of course, you know, I, I didn't think there was a shark, but we're both like scrambling to get out of the water. And, um, you know, we both end up getting stuck in the waves and we end up falling and, you know, our asses get rolled through the fucking surf and we got cut up and she hurt her knee and I hurt my ankle and it was a hot mess. That was really the end of us trying to swim in the ocean. After that, we didn't go back. <laughs> Now I'm going to bronze up my face and add in a little blush. I brought my Benefit Blush Bar. My amazing girlfriend bought this for me and I love it. Um, oh gosh, and it, it smells so good. It's like a pina colada or something. Um, I'm going to go in with um, California, which is this bright, br uh, bright 
pink with it has some gold undertone gold reflect but I don't think that comes across on camera I'm gonna highlight now um, I'm gonna use um, moonstone by Becca this is just a mini size that I got because I have so many highlighters I'm never gonna go through all the highlighters that I own so getting a mini was just a great decision plus these Becca highlighters are hella expensive all the memories and all the days we've spent together. You feel it so soon, too many risks to take. Just let us see when we'll be finding them. Eyelashes are done. Um, I, I mentioned this briefly in my previous video, but I don't generally do like full on brows, like Instagram brows, because it takes me a really long time. I, I need to practice more. I should try that, but um, it takes me a very long time to do. Um, and I have to like do the whole concealer cutout thing and all that. So I generally don't. I just use a brow mascara because um, it's easier for me on the daily to do this than to you know go all out um, and I did talk about this in my previous video but I think I cut it out but um I have I had to grow out my eyebrows a couple of years ago because I had like sperm eyebrows for the longest time um, because I grew up in the 90s and back then that was in and I just I shaved the insides of them and I never recovered from that my eyebrows never recovered all I have to do is lipstick and I have so many lipsticks in front of me I don't even know what I want to use let's go with something brown here we go color pop and chill it's a, like a chocolatey brown we're gonna go with that <laughs> Right, and that is about as good as the lips are gonna get. This lipstick is patchy and I've never used this. This is one of the ultra matte formulas and I just don't like it. Go for the ultra satin. Um, anyway, that is it, I'm done. Oh wait, no, I'm not done. I forgot setting spray. I'm just gonna use Maybelline. Now I'm done. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, Thank you for listening to my random rambles, and I hope to see you guys next time. I'll list everything I use down below, and um, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you're interested, and if so, can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye! I just put this in my eye.